Happy trails to... Oh, wait, no. Uh, hello, guys. Um, this is a video to explain that I screwed up. I played West of Loathing for three hours thinking I was recording it. I was not. So I decided to play the rest of the game anyway and uh, did most of the side quests, the main quest. And uh, because, well, he's fidgety now. Uh, stop that. Okay. Uh, the reason I did that is because I realized if I restarted after three hours, I was going to be angry. I was going to rush things. It wouldn't be enjoyable for anybody. So I just played the game. And now I've done the main quest. And I did a lot of side quests and everything. And it's a lot of fun. And there's some quests I failed to do. I sold items I shouldn't have. I, it was a learning experience of the game. So I figure I will do a Let's Play of this. But probably a little in the future when I've forgotten some of the parts of it. And therefore I don't rush things. I don't think I know what I'm doing and then find out I don't know what I'm doing. You know, actually read and think and try to do things properly. Yeah, stretch there. Yeah, okay. But what I am going to show you, which is why this video is going to be under spoiler, is the final cutscene. Which, funny enough, is not the final cutscene. They show you the ending but since it doesn't actually end the game, you could go and continue to do other things and add to the final cutscene. So, let's go in. It's a silent film. I'm going to let you guys read on your own, okay? Looks like somebody on the train got a job as a projectionist. Would you like to watch this movie? It's free because movies have only recently been invented and nobody has figured out that they can charge for them yet. Note, doing this will not change anything about the world or your character. When the cutscene is over, you'll still be right here and you can keep playing if you want. In other words, guys, this is like the ghost of Christmas to come. This is things that will happen if you leave the game now. But you can still go back to the game and continue to play it. So let's, sure, show me the final cutscene.
Wasn't that fun, ladies and gentlemen? Now, I don't know how to save the planet. I mean, some of those cutscenes, they're brand new to me, too. Because I've been playing on and off, coming back, looking at it, going back, playing something, coming back. But, uh, so I will play this as a game. Just not right now. I'll probably wait a few months and try again. Uh, you know, and, and try to do things differently. Right now, I have... I'm a, a, a bean slinger. Kind of a wizard that deals with beans and recipes and cook. I'm a cook. I'm a cook. Uh, but there's other classes. And based on your class, different spells and different ways of approaching problems. And there's even, I think, some locations that are different on the map. Not a lot, but a few. So, you know, I will play this game. But unfortunately, I did screw up. And, but instead of getting angry at myself, I just played the game. And I got that wonderful, wonderful cutscene, which is a spoiler, and I will mark this as a spoiler. But, uh, I will probably... This is going to be painful, because I I know I'm going to really upset people with pronouncing things in the game I'm about to play. But I'm thinking Dwarf Fortress. And the only problem I have is that editing, because you don't want to watch every little thing that happens at Dwarf Fortress. So I'm going to do my best to try to play a game, edit it, play another episode, another part of the game, edit it, you know. Um, Fort Dwarf, Fort Dwarfus, blah, blah, blah. Fort Dwarfus. <laughs> it's going to be hard if I can't even pronounce the name. But it's one of those games that you don't want to show people every little thing that happens. Just setting up a world itself could take a long time depending on your computer and my computer is not a good computer so that'll be heavily edited and probably kind of boring because I don't like actually hostile environments and stuff I actually my aim when I play Dwarf Fortress is try to make a little utopia for the dwarves so I try to pick a place that's not evil I try to pick a place that has plenty of fruit and water and wood and doesn't have you know, a threat of water pouring into the caverns and killing us all. And I try to make a lot of walls and traps. I do make some military units, but I try to do the most efficient way of doing everything. But I also have my own ideas on how to do things and set up things. So nobody's going to be happy with everything I do in a Fort Dwarfus. Uh... Now I'm doing it backwards. Dwarf Fortress. Game. Fort Dwarfus, yes. Uh, so, that's why I'm not going to be playing West of Loathing. But I will probably be playing a DF. Ha! I'll use that instead of Dwarf Fortress. 
I'm not even trying, I got it right. Okay. But, uh, just wanted you guys to see this. Let you know I am aware of that you're out there. Some of you. Both of you. I don't know. Actually, I think there's about 60 or so people watching this, probably. But, uh, if you do have a Steam account, you like westerns and puns, and a roleplay kind of thing, because this is roleplay. Uh, you have stats... You have an inventory, and you could fix it up depending on how. You can fix it up any way you want. Yeah. There's even a map. I even have a companion, and you could pick different companions. Uh, that's not my companion. Don't mention it. Here she is. And there's my horse. No, I don't. I don't want to talk to you. This is my horse. There you go. Yeah. Casper. I actually got the name of the horse. It's a ghost horse. There's multiple horses you could choose to. If you have played the game, you know this. If you haven't played the game, it's not a spoiler. Play the game. Of course... The ending you get will be different from my ending. There's some endings, uh, cutscene endings, I know I did not get. Uh, so I would suggest playing this game and not wait for me to play it. Uh, I don't know. I guess this has ended up less of a spoiler alert that I'm going to play the game and more of a review. Will you stop doing that? It's, it's, it's scaring the viewer. Stop that. And are you picking your nose? One of you was picking your nose. It's hard to tell this. It's hard to tell where your fingers go when you touch your face. Whatever. But, uh. Let me just get away from these people. No. Alright. Okay. So, uh. Thanks for watching. And like I said, I will play this game sooner or later. But probably the next episode you see will be a Dwarf Fortress episode. And I don't use tile, graphic tiles. So. It will make your eyes bleed. Your eyes will bleed. Bye bye. Oh, uh, one last thing. Let's see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, it has a stupid walk uh, option, but you have to unlock it. Okay, goodbye guys. Have fun.